Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. Today we're going to be working on my 1994 CBR900RR. This bike has been an excellent bike since I bought it, but it does have high mileage and it is pretty old. So the brakes have started to act up. They've been making this really loud moaning noise as you start to apply the brake. Now if you apply the brake really hard, put a lot of pressure on the brake, it doesn't make any noise. But if it's medium amount of brake pressure or a very light amount of brake pressure, typically the stuff you do riding in town, there's a really loud noise coming from the front brakes. I mean, just take a look at this video to see what I mean. Yeah, not good. So when I bought this bike, the fork seals were leaking really badly. So that's one of the first things I fixed on this bike. Put new seals on it, filled up the forks with fresh oil. And unfortunately, when your fork seals start to leak, usually it contaminates your brake pads. So I actually threw new brake pads on this bike as well. Unfortunately, it's still making this nasty noise. The brakes seem to work fine, but something's definitely up since it's making that sort of noise. Really, the only thing left to do is just rebuild the brake calipers. So that's what we're gonna do today. Okay, so I've got one of the calipers split in half. So each caliper is actually two halves. So let's look deeper into this and see what's going on. All right, so you'll see we have two halves here. Each side has two pistons, and the entry point where the brake fluid comes through is up top on one of these halves. And we'll see that we have these bridge ports on the top and the bottom. When you hit the brake lever, it presses brake fluid through the top here and distributes through both halves at these little ports at the top and the bottom. And as you push the lever harder, it pushes the brake fluid through and pushes these pistons out. Now this top bridge port controls the top two pistons and the bottom bridge port controls the bottom two pistons. But if we look closely here, we'll see that these bottom bridge ports are completely clogged. I don't even know what's in there. It's just some sort of buildup caused by old brake fluid probably in the reaction with the aluminum caliper. So what's going on is as I push the brake lever, it's only activating these top two brake pistons and these bottom brake pistons aren't being pushed out. So therefore the pad is not contacting the rotor flushly. It's only contacting it here at the top. Now hopefully I can unclog these bottom bridge ports. We're gonna take out these pistons and then clear out these ports here and just flush this whole caliper. Hopefully we can get it cleared out so that brake fluid can run freely top to bottom operating both pistons equally. So this is going to be something new to me, so I'm going to try this out and hopefully it works out. Okay, so I had the pistons out of the calipers and a lot of gunk came out. I used the compressed air to blow through the, um, the brake fluid channels to get the pistons out. I basically just plugged my finger over the holes in various areas and blew air through the other end to get the pistons out. Let's take a look at this. You see all that reddish buildup on the pistons and inside of the caliper bodies themselves. So that is not good. That's just old brake fluid that has got a lot of water inside of it and then has just sat. This is why it's important to change your brake fluid every few years so you don't have this going on. 
But I look at the pistons, these are actually in really good shape. They'll clean up nicely and can be reused. We'll then fit new seals inside of here, piston seals, and then we'll fit new dust shields in here as well. And then this caliper will be just like new. But first things first, we gotta spray the insides of here with some brake cleaner and run some compressed air through there again just to get these spick and span so we can fit up some new parts. So let's get going. piston boards properly clean and the old seals and dust boots removed, it's now time to just refit the new parts. Pretty easy. With the new piston seals and dust seals installed into the caliper bores, now it's time to refit the pistons themselves. But before we do that, we want to lubricate the surface of the pistons with some fresh brake fluid. Okay, so that's one caliper rebuilt. There's another one to do on the other side, but it's pretty much just rinse and repeat. I'm not gonna videotape this, I'm just gonna crack on and do it. With both brake calipers now finally rebuilt, now it's time to bleed the brake system with fresh fluid. We wanna make sure there's no air trapped in the lines. bled we now have a nice firm brake lever but we gotta take this thing for a test drive to see if we actually solve the noisy brake issue Okay, after a test drive, the noise is still kind of there. It's not as bad as it was before, but it definitely still makes a little bit of a howling noise. And it's only when it's not maximum braking, it's uh, just light braking is when it happens. Under maximum braking, no noise at all. Um, so, I don't know. I know that there's nothing mechanically wrong with the brakes after having rebuilt them, new fluid in the lines, new pads, so when I got this bike again, I put brand new pads on there and I put the Honda OEM pads, so I know that the noise is not because the pads are of a too hard of material because the OEM pads are actually very soft and supposed to be quiet for street riding. So it really has to be down to probably the rotors, uh, the discs on the front of this bike. The bike does have over 40,000 miles and the rotors may have some ridges in there 
that's causing the pads to wear kind of strange. Uh, really, it's a cosmetic issue at this point. It just makes noise. I know there's nothing actually wrong with the brakes. They work great, and uh, I'll probably just leave it the way it is for right now. So I wanna thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you again soon.